Hi friends, today we're going to use SQL to do some data transformations in UpSolver. Keep in mind that anything that you can do with SQL, you can use it to transform data in UpSolver. If you haven't had a chance to deploy UpSolver and integrate with your AWS environment, or if you have not created a data source yet, please check out the links in the description. First, click on Output, click on New on the upper right-hand corner. And from here, we can see there are many different outputs to choose from. Today, we're going to make an Athena output. We're using Google Analytics data for this example, and uh, Google Analytics gives you the insight for your website. I'm going to name it May Google Analytics, and also I have to pick a data source that I have created previously. Click on Next. There's a lot we can do from this page, such as aggregations and managed partitions. You can see that there are also additional statistics for each field. All you have to do is click on the little plus sign that's next to the field. This maps your source fields to output fields. Let's map a few of the fields. I want to work with SQL directly, so I'm going to go to the SQL tab. Keep in mind that any changes made on the SQL is going to be reflected in the UI and vice versa. On the top, you can see that I converted the date string to the date format so that I can extract the year and month out of the date. And on the bottom, I'm outputting them. And for country and continent, it's very easy for me to concatenate them together. I've also converted new visits and visit number to numbers so that I can do a division here on the bottom. Click on Preview. The data looks good. Click on Run. Now I can fill out my Athena information, including my S3 storage connection information, database name, table name, and I can click on Next. From here, I select the compute cluster that I want to use and also the range of date that I want to output the data from. Click Deploy. Now the fields are being loaded to AWS Athena table. Keep an eye on the current status of the output. I go back to my Athena environment, click on Refresh. I can see the fields created in Upsolver mapped correctly to Athena. I'm going to run a very simple query and click on Run Query. Now looking at my data, everything looks correct. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.